Hi, this is Terry from Fabric Junction in Sturgis, South Dakota. And today I'm here to show you another one of our beautiful quilts that we've done with our Fabric Jewels, which is an eight and a half inch square that we call Ruby's Run. The quilt is a 68 by 68 square. We use one pack of our Fabric Jewels and a background fabric. The whole quilt is made of four patches and half square triangles to make our block. And this is what the block is, a nice big block. So the quilt goes quite fast. So we have four patches and that's what I'll show you first for those of you that are unfamiliar with a four patch. It's four squares of equal size. We sew them together. I lay it out, sew it together. I always leave the left one on the bottom, take the right one, put it on top, sew on the right hand side. A little flip on that one, there we go. Now, take it, match up the seam allowance, Press one left, one to the right. Make sure the other end. Press it. And that is our four patch and the block takes two of these and they will go with the color corner to corner. The next is our half square triangle. Again we need two pieces, in this case our background, our top, and I mark my points, my half square triangle, with my Fonts and Porter seam marker. I place it from point to point. I mark with a pencil. If you use a different type of marking pencil, that's okay. Sometimes when I'm doing something dark, I'd use my white pencil. But anyway, I mark my pencil line. And then I sew on, on that line or just to the seam allowance side if it looks like everything's not coming out quite right. But the intent is to soak on that line or just to the right of it. When I get to the bottom, I'll do a whole stack of these. When I get to the bottom, I just flip them around this way and go through my stack again. Once I have it sewn, because of the distance on this one, I generally use my straight edge and my cutter. I line up on my points. I cut and then I press. It looks like I've got a string or two that wants to just hang on. There, that one went. I press. Once they're pressed, Take my squares opposite and I push those two seams up to each other and you can feel it and then you start to line up your corner and then you can you can feel all of that lining up I mark it if you're more comfortable marking one side first mark one side first and then line it up. That's okay too. It just happens that when you're working with batik it likes to hang on so I don't mind lining it up and then marking. 
Oh, what am I doing? I'm doing an hourglass. I apologize. I get so used to doing something, I need to stop with a half square triangle. To line those two up, you would have done an hourglass. That'll be on another quilt. But on this one here, let's get rid of our dog ears. We have our half square triangles. Comes from doing too many quilts the night before taping, and I thought I was doing my next quilt. On this one here, like I said, you've got, uh, if I remember right, 16 blocks. So you'll do eight blocks in which you'll have your center and you'll put your color inward. So eight of your blocks is done in this layout. And then I've got two different ones here just to show you a difference. Oh, those are smaller. Must be off of my other, one of my other projects. But whatever. Eight blocks with the black towards the center. So those are your, your blocks. Remember, eight of them with the black towards the center, eight of them with the color towards the center. And then when you lay them out, as you can see, here's the color in, and then this one here has the black. And then the next one has the color in, and then that's what creates these other rows or runs, we're calling them. And you'll sew it together in rows, and then sew your rows to each other. I hope you like this new quilt called Ruby's Run using our fabric jewel packs. It only takes one pack plus your background fabric to do this quilt. Check us out on junctionfabric.com. Thank you for watching.